on April 7th of 2018, there was an alleged chemical attack in a rebel enclave called Duma, just outside of Damascus. The opposition blames Syrian government forces for it. The Syrian government denies the allegations, saying that they were fabricated. All of this has big international consequences as well. The United States came out with a strong statement, President Trump laying the blame on Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and also holding Russian President Vladimir Putin accountable as well. The big question is, what is going to happen next? Certainly the U.S. has said that no options are off the table. So this is something that could include potential cruise missile strikes, potential airstrikes, but of course the United States also has to factor in the fact that the dominant power here on the ground in Syria is still the Russians. The Russians are also issuing a stern warning towards the United States, saying that any sort of intervention on the part of the U.S. could have what they call very grave consequences. I'd like to begin by condemning the heinous attack on innocent Syrians with banned chemical weapons. It was an atrocious attack. It was horrible. You don't see things like that as bad as the news is around the world. You just don't see those images. We are studying that situation extremely closely. We are meeting with our military and everybody else. And we'll be making some major decisions over the next 24 to 48 hours. We are very concerned when a thing like that can happen. This is about humanity. We're talking about humanity. If it's Russia, if it's Syria, if it's Iran, if it's all of them together, we'll figure it out and we'll know the answers quite soon. Руководство США, Великобритании и Франции без каких-то ни было оснований и не задумываясь о последствиях ведет конфронтационную линию по отношению к России и Сирии и подталкивает к этому других. Беспардонно грозят России. Тон, в котором это делается, перешел границы допустимого. Даже во времена холодной войны. History will record this as the moment when the Security Council either discharged its duty or demonstrated its utter and complete failure to protect the people of Syria. Either way, the United States will respond. Russia's obstructionism will not continue to hold us hostage when we are confronted with an attack like this one. The United States is determined to see the monster who dropped chemical weapons on the Syrian people held to account. The responsibility for the cruelty in Syria belongs to Syria and its backers in Russia and Iran. Use of chemical weapons is an escalatory and a diabolical act what Russia is trying to do, it strikes me, Mr. President, is to turn this, the debate in this council away from a discussion of the use of CW into a dispute between East and West. 